Uh, my role is a uh, slab cast operator. I cast uh, molten steel. Currently we've got both caster machines operating. Um, Strand 3 is doing a grade that is going to be used for colour bond fencing and strand 4, the other machine, that's doing the last ladle of a grade that we're using for windmill bases and, and it's like a special grade still. Fully automatic. Um, we have people that are monitoring the system, make sure it doesn't fail. We just take that ladle on the back of the turret, swing it around into the cast position. We attach a, a shroud to it and open the ladle and pour the steel into a tun dish. And the steel goes through there and out the bottom. The tun dish behind me is a concrete bar sub that holds steel. Gives us the capacity to cast continuously. Every 50 minutes we need to change a ladle. So with that capacity in the tun dish, that gives us time to be able to change that ladle around. Allows us to continually cast ladle after ladle after ladle. As the steel solidifies, it forms a shell and my job is responsible for making sure that we're, we're casting that still to the right dimensions, the, the right quality. All different widths and sizes, different grades. We may uh, have different operating conditions and I pass that on to my operators who then uh, react accordingly and uh, make sure we cast the right steel to the best quality. Colour bond's a, a certain grade, uh, plate is a certain grade. The amount of water that's, that's put onto the steel, the speed we cast at, is all determined by the grade. You've got to get it done, we all work as a team. And uh, when that metal reacts and stuff like that, you need to know what, uh, why does it. I think the, just the programming is, is a lot better. Um, before it was all manual, mostly manual, now it's a lot automated. The whole machine's water cooled, and then as the slab goes through the machine, it goes through a 10 metre curve. So it's a 10 metre radius from the casting floor down to the ground floor. It solidifies from liquid to, to solid on the way out of the machine. So I am on top of the cut to length pulpit. As it goes along the table rolls there's a, a torch cutting machine and it cuts the slabs into the length that the customer requires. It gets put onto wagons by the cranes and taken to a mill where it gets rolled. Well, 15, 60 degrees is what I have in, in my tundish right now, and on exit it'll be 900 degrees. And for that to cool down to room temperature can take up to seven days, seven days. if not longer sometimes, yeah. Send the slabs off into either onto the wagons or into the cooler. It's important to cool the slabs uh, for stacking over at the strip mill. We take pictures of the cross section of a slab. Um, it gets an idea of the quality of the slab and we also take things called alignment prints where we can get a sense of uh, the alignment of the casting machine itself and see what quality of slabs it's creating. So it's very important for higher level grades. Always trying to improve yield so if something went slightly wrong we'd investigate it and see hey, what, what happened there. Uh, so there's a lot of overhead cranes. Um, and hot objects and things like that, but I feel safe here, I feel safe coming to work. I work in a team environment, everyone's here to look after you and, and make sure you go home safe. It's more about coordinating the team, making sure the right person's in the right job at the right time. Just dynamic, it's changing all the time. It's a great job really, seriously. I came here for three months, 42 years ago and I'm still here. Uh, the people are great.